going on everybody bulldog gaming here coming to you from my desktop uh, as you can see I got paint.net up um, this is going to be a tutorial on how to do uh, some of the skinning I've done for uh, ATS um, so and this is going to be kind of a complete tutorial from doing the doing the skin to getting it into ATS. So first things first, I want to bring in the um, template that I want to be working on. Um, this will be f whoops haha <laughs> back out of that click in the right one okay so this is going to be on the Viper 2 um, and from trial and error watching some other YouTube videos that have uh, put out tutorials on how to do this Sorry if you hear a bunch of clicking noises in the background. Um, but uh, I watched several different people do the texture skin, uh, how to make the texture. Um, I watched another gentleman uh, how to make the, the file to where you can put it in game and to where it actually shows up in game. So. And unfortunately, I'm only working with one monitor. I broke my other monitor, so I can't grab stuff from another screen. So, bear with me, if you will. So, um, here we go. I'm going to pull these up, pull this up so you can actually see. Um, the in-game picture. Uh, if you've watched my video from yesterday and my video from today uh, that were, was posted this morning, you'll see the truck, um, the trailer. Okay, so this is the truck that we're going to be working on. Um, there's actually, I got to do an edit on this, and I'll do this edit while I'm <coughs> doing the video. Uh, but I'm going to show you how to do this skin uh, with a variant um, from what this one is. This is my red and blue, like I said in uh, <clears throat> my uh, other two videos. This red-blue scheme I came up with... Uh, back in the farm sim 15 days and I actually liked the scheme so uh, it was pretty cool so I brought it over to ATS because I like that red and blue paint job um, got the bulldog gaming up there on the back this is this is the uh, setup that I have for the truck uh, the grill mesh. And I'll... This is the trailer uh, that's in the video. I'm actually going to do another trailer. Because like I said in this morning's video, um, I'm going to give you a choice between this trailer design and another trailer design. Um, uh, which one to use so y'all can vote another shot of the trailer with the uh, fan club patch this is with the uh, ribbed for a refrigerated unit which is what I used to pull lights on 
I chromed out the uh, reefer. So, but uh, yeah. So, oh, here is okay. This is a picture of the truck that I did. Uh, the second truck I was working on uh, says my name. The R.S. Baker Trucking is actually uh, mine and Witch's trucking company that name when we were buying our own truck uh, some time back. That's why that's in there. This is the original one that I started working on. Um, high resolution lettering. Um, now one thing is, is the VIN, the US dot, they're pretty much going to be all the same um, on each truck that I do and that's just that's just a cookie cutter paste kind of stuff that I do uh, to make it quicker. Um, resizing of the if the sticker uh, here it is with the uh, flat top there. without the picture taking stuff in it um, with my Bulldog Gaming uh, logo as the uh, grill mesh. As you can see in this one here, the uh, the size of the IFTA sticker is actually not 100% the scale to what it is in, in real life uh, of driving a truck. Um, none of these are perfect 100% to scale, so I don't think they'll ever be. This was when I did an oversize right after I did right after I put the skin in. So um and what I'm gonna I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna edit if up oh, there it is. Right here. I'm gonna edit this head, this bulldog that's on this side because and with the new edit of this sign, uh I actually have where the bulldog is look the his head is looking forward. So um, that's the design I'm working on. Uh, going to be making this other trailer part of the other design. This is going to be different in the back. So we'll close out of this. Close this file folder. All right, so. What we're going to do, um, and when I post up this video, I'm going to, before I post this video up, and I'm going to try to get this video up today because uh, uh, there's another awesome YouTuber that I've been talking to. Um, he's also going to have a link to his YouTube in the uh, uh, description. Thank you, Witch. <laughs> In the description. Um, and his name is Risky Clay. Um, I've been talking to this gentleman quite a bit. He's an awesome dude. He's an awesome YouTuber. Um, like all of us, he's human. He works. Um, you know, he's, he does what he can when he does. Um, so, follow the link to his YouTube. Uh and watch one of his videos um, he has a video that usually comes out once a day every day uh, he does a lot of streaming on the weekends um, unless he's really bored and then he'll then he's done the uh, midweek uh, stream but mainly he does all of his streaming on the weekends um, and he's just a laid-back country boy uh, kinda like myself so but uh, a link to these templates will be also in the description a link to the custom 53 foot um, will be in the description um, so let's open this when it wants to cooperate today alright so this is your template this is this is your ground 
layer. This is what you're going to be working off. And if you've ever watched any of my tutorial videos, my tutorial uh, uh, live stream that I've done in the past, this is where you start making the magic. Um, I still have yet to figure out um, in the other two videos I was talking about the headlights um, how one how the driver's side headlight has uh, the color of of the fenders but the passenger side is so or the passenger side doesn't and you'll see when I do these that I stop at a certain location because these are the headlights this is this is where the headlight are located and if you want a different color headlight this is where it comes from so so what we do first this is what I do this is totally how I do all of my color schemes so I always add a layer uh, and I use paint.net um, I don't use Photoshop I don't you I have GIMP but I don't use GIMP um, I've been told that GIMP is pretty easy to work with I've gotten used to paint.net so everything that I do is in paint.net very basic it's free base um, in fact I'll even throw a link uh, to paint.net on how to get the download in the description also so um, what we're going to do is I have my paint bucket and we have a blue, red, blue and red truck that's in, in game. So what we're going to do is I'm going to build the shadow. No, take that back. We're going to change that color. I'm going to build the shadow today. All right, so all I did is I just changed uh, the color uh, through through the color wheel here, okay? Um, <clears throat> I'm gonna build my Joker, uh, <laughs> and I call it the Joker because the Joker, you, uh, all the Joker pictures I've ever seen, he is in purple and green. Base paint is going to be the purple. And then accenting is going to be the green. So, now, a lot of people are like, well, why don't you put the template on top? Da, 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 da. I don't do that. This is the most simplest way, easiest way for me to figure out where I need to do. Okay, so I turn that layer off just by clicking the button over here uh, in layers. You'll see layers. Um, tools. No, I don't want tools. View. Eh. No. Over here. Okay, so. A lot of people, they have the history up. Okay, they open the image, new layer, uh, paint bucket, change color, finish paint, bra uh, finish paint bucket, layer visibility. This is the history of everything you do. I don't do that. So, if this first time that you've ever done paint.net, turn that off because it is not going to help you. It is more of a hindrance than a, than a help. Um, you just need your toolbox, your layers, and your colors. Sometimes I move the layers over here next to the color box. That way I can see what I'm working with a lot easier. Um, I had to move my toolbox earlier uh, last night when I was working on another skin. I'm working on in-game trailers, the the SCS trailers, uh, ownable, so I can just throw my skin on there and say it's my trailer. If I want to pull that trailer, I pull that trailer, whatever. So I'll get into a uh, tutorial on how how I did what I did so alright so for my next set of layers down here is your shapes 
rectangle here uh, outline draw fill draw fill shape with outline I do draw fill okay so it's automatically filled so go over here we're gonna collect we're going to get us a green bright green it's got to be bright and right here we're gonna do we're not gonna do anything because I already screwed up so <laughs> add a new layer okay layer one background layer two that's the purple layer three is where we're gonna lay down our secondary colors so okay I'm gonna turn this off and then I'll turn it back on so you know where where we're working right now okay so this is your fuel tank this is gonna be your step now I'm gonna tell you right now if you have anything that is on your step and you're using the Viper 2 truck if you use the painted I repeat if you use the painted toolbox this is toolbox step that goes back here on the frame and also underneath the driver and passenger door each side has its own <coughs> whatever is on this toolbox is going to be on the toolbox back here so if you have your trucking company name on there if you if you have a design on there uh, if you have wording that you don't want back here then back here you're gonna run with chrome one or you're gonna run with the setup that I set up on mine with the with uh, just what I'm used to a set of stairs and uh, uh, an APU APU is the auxiliary power unit so turn that back on so we can see where we put our first set of green down and then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna paint that okay so now we're gonna go over here a lot of people they zoom in on their work see what they're working with I don't I get I line everything up via the squares If it goes over just a little bit, it's okay. Because you're building a custom paint job. I've not seen a custom paint job where there wasn't a flaw. Somewhere where a lot of people wouldn't notice, but I would because I look at that kind of stuff. Alright, so. This is your fifth wheel. This is going to change now I'm going to change the color of that back to black um, you know what I did it once before uh, with the with our truck our other truck so to make sure that I don't paint that piece there Our lines line up there. Okay, so we are going to go back with our trusty green. Okay, so now we're going to have that bright green. That piece right there that I just colored, that is going to be your bumper, your painted bumper. Um, obviously, this is the fenders for the trailer or for the truck. Fuel tank steps. Um,. Go in here. I'm getting a little wild here, but that's okay. My truck, right? Okay, so I'm gonna turn off this background real quick. 
this is your quarter fender. Okay, when you when you put on your painted quarter fenders, your uh, anything painted um, fenders and anything like that, uh, the rear bumper. I should have just kept that up. Nope, wrong set of screenshots. This is just referencing to what we're working with here. Let's go here. In fact, I've got an easier way so I can show you referencing. Okay, so this part here is these fenders passenger and driver's side and this light bracket that goes on the back of your on the rear of your truck so that whole area that I just worked with is going to be that neon green now this right here that is your stack do I get a picture there open with work with me here all right all right so that part there is going to be your stack now this is a stock stack that I have in this picture because this is what I was originally working with um, but it'll be that color so what we've got painted so far we've got the whole truck painted the purple we have these fender arches we have the toolbox step and we have our fuel tank and then we have like I said the smokestack uh, this is the smokestack that has the paint on it um, I have it in chrome in this one here and then we have our fenders here and we also have the fifth wheel that is all painted the color of that neon green so now this is what your paint job looks like currently you're like well okay it doesn't look like a truck yet well I'll get to that um, as you're looking at the template this is your right side of the truck, this is your left side of the truck, these are your mirrors, these are your grills, and so on and so forth. So, when it all comes together, the, the creator of what you're working with, the creator of that truck, he's got all the, all the groundwork. He built it out of, out of a model, a 3D image, and then made a template for it. So... Now this is where it gets into the fun part of the world of trucking or making this. Okay, so I'm going to downsize this a little bit more. Now this is going to be or Peterbilt symbol that is on the front of the truck on the grill part okay most everything I use I've either either googled it uh, well I google everything that I use with the exception of uh, certain words wording in fact we're not even ready for layering yet. Okay, so go in here. We're gonna grab twenty six. I want my wording to be that. Actually, no. I want to go. 
copper plate gothic black and really tiny 26 is, is your font size And of course, it's not going to show up. Why? Because we have that background turned off. So now we're going to add another layer instead of doing it the wrong way. Need a little bit bigger font. So we're going to bring it up to a 36. We're going to change our font color to black. Bulldog Gaming. Start just below there. Center that up. Looks to be about center there. Okay, so we come down to this one. Now, before we do that, we're going to center this up on there. So when we do this one, we're going to look right here. That's about as close as we're going to get. Center. Okay. Find my mouse. My mouse has disappeared. Okay. So there's that. <coughs> okay. So we have Bulldog Gaming Transport. We have Bulldog Gaming Transport. Okay. So now, um, go with a little bit bigger font here. I think we can get away with 72 there. Go with 65. Okay, so 65 made it a little bit smaller. Grab that. All right. And you could actually make that color. This is the back of the cab where I'm working here. This area right here is the back of the cab. This is what's going to show up on the back of the sleeper. This is the sleeper here. This is the back of the sleeper. This is what's going to show up on the back of the sleeper. Okay. Now we went with the same green that we had originally for our lettering, or for for our fenders and all that, for everything else that we painted. Make it look kind of cool. Down here it wouldn't work. I had to go with black because we're we were working with an area that is painted in that green. I could have went with purple, but I'm going to go with black because it looks a little bit more legit. Okay. Now you're not going to have everything right there that you want. A lot of things you're going to have to Google. Um, I already have everything that I want that's going to be on this truck, so... Uh, just by googling and searching up um, certain items as I'm trying to wrap myself up in my cord so bear with me here alright so we have Bulldog Gaming Transport on the back of the rig on the back of the cab back of the sleeper we have Bulldog Gaming Transport on our toolboxes 
Um, some chunky companies that I've seen in the past, they put them over here on, on the fuel tanks. I don't want to do that. Um, and the only reason why I'm going with the Ultra Cab is because if you put any graphics that are on, any kind of graphic that's on the sleeper, it won't be if you run just the day cab, uh, which is the cab, the frame, cab, the frame. So I don't do none of my trucks run with this air dam. If you want to put something that's on here, you can put something on here. You can you can put wording on there. I don't personally run with it, so I'm not going to put it on my truck. Uh, this is the top of the sleeper. This is the direct top of the sleeper. You can put something right here, but it just does not look right. It it, it contorts and, and doesn't look proper when, when you go back in and you look at it in game. Okay, so, um, speaking of, <clears throat> this is going to be something that is going to be on the truck. So we go in here, um, Joker Base PNG. Okay, so this is just you know for reference. It's all you do. All you gotta do if you're gonna make anything that is that is going to be on your rig, going to be a layer on your rig, uh, a sticker or anything that you want on your rig, look it up. Google it, make it uh, PNG, that's PNG, where it has, you can see through it, it's transparent, okay, um, Monster Teeth PNG. Okay. As you can see here, Monster Teeth PNG. Alright, this is what I was looking for. To be exact, as you can see, you can barely see those white teeth see those you can see that you see that a lot of rigs they run with a lot of people run this this right here okay and all this is is it makes it look like a a grill guard uh, 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 a grill flag is all that is but if that's something that you want on your rig that you know you can do that um, you know, look through pretty much anything that you want on your rig. As long as it says PNG behind it, you can download it, and I'll show you how to do that. Um... I already have this in my uh, files, but seeing if if they actually had one so we'll draw the PNG hit enter okay comes up with these that would be pretty cool to Put on a truck. 
especially this time of the year, this season. You know, it, it, all, all the, you know, you can actually probably take that and make it into a PNG. If you want to, if the sticker. You can look up if the sticker, you can find pretty much, this is for Wisconsin, Montana, California, you know, <laughs> there's the old one from 1994, that's some years back, Georgia, that's the new one, uh, you know, all you got to do is just look, Google, find what you're looking for, download it, and you're good. Um, PNG, not PMG. I was looking to see, oh, there it is, Skinner's Resource. Okay. He has 16, 17, 18, and he has next year's 19. For every state, he has the certified stickers. He has this engine cannot blah blah blah. He has CVSA. CVSA is is the inspection uh, electronic logs. This is what I was originally looking for. He has a lot of good stuff to have. Okay, this is what I'm lo actually looking for. Okay, so, hut sticker. I'm going to show you where this place is. So we're going to download the original. Okay. As you can see, it's flashing down here. Import layers. So now we're getting into importing our layers. Move this to ATS modding. All right. Now I could have just went here, scrolled. See, there's the OIDA sticker. Scrolled down. Found what I was looking for, which he actually does not have that in here. So it's a good thing that I went to that site. So Okay, as you see it pops up huge on here. So you just grab your little tool. Grab your little hand, grab it. Actually, it has to be on the left side. Okay, boom. So that's your first layer. Uh, that That's the first thing that I'm laying down is my IFTA stick or my hut sticker for driving in the state of New York because I have C2C or coast to coast 
uh, mod which I found um, if anybody wants it uh, I can put it in the description of the next video that I do so it's just eyeballing it to make it look as coherent as possible so my next layer and actually name that wrong it should be right left boom because this is the left side of the truck this is the right side of the truck and like I said, I'm going to fix that on my already in-game truck. Boom. And if you're not for sure... always move it around a little bit okay so now we have my bulldog face facing forward he's looking forward he's looking down the road with you all right so now go in here I need to go into my paint resource file and I need to find the proper if the sticker that I want. Shrink it down, shrink it down. I went ahead and went with the uh, 2019 of this one. Okay, up here. I went with the 2019 because next year's 2019. Usually you get your IFTA sticker between now and the 15th of February to put on your trucks. So I went ahead and did it for this one. He's going to be in compliance long before he needs to be in compliance. You have till the 1st of March to have it on. All right, so now I want to put that over here on this side of the truck. So up here, I just hit copy, paste, grab that and drag it down to where I want it to this is a shortcut so you don't have to keep going back in and looking what for what you're looking for boom alright it's close to perfect as close as possible no if the sticker is on your truck perfectly if you put it on yourself it will not mirror image to the opposite side no matter what you try Trust me, I know I've done it in the past, in real life. All right, so we're going to go back into Google. We're going to close this out because I want to... Uh, my original truck has the has the uh, uh, American, rebel fla American flag, rebel flag smushed together. I want to go with something different. That's why I was looking for the Joker face. So, boom. Joker fish PNG boom okay so now we're going to find a joker face that we want let's go with this one here okay so right click save image as find the file where you want to put it it says it's JPEG so minimize that we're gonna go in here we're gonna open it we're gonna find it open it all right there it is as you can see it's right there you want to grab your magic wand tool which is in your tools you want to click somewhere away from where the the, the painted stuff is hit delete 
now it is a true PNG because as you, as you can remember it said JPEG, JPEG down in the file format. Alright, so now I'm going to resize it just a little bit. So it's a resize. It's 260 by 260. Um, I'm going to resize it 175 by 175. Hit OK. Brings it down just a little bit smaller. We're going to save as Joker Emblem. I don't know how to spell it right now. Okay, so now change this to PNG. You can always save file side type there. Boom, done. That's done there. Okay, so now we can close that. Go back to our template. Go into our layers. Okay. We have that there. We can actually delete that because we don't need it anymore. And double click. Resize it if you need to or if you want to. We're going to put this right up here in the corner. And then again, back up to our little cheat mode, copy paste. Okay, so now we have the Joker face up on our hood. So when we go into game, as you can see, as you've seen, when we go into game, American. American flag, rebel flag sticker that's right there. That's where we put that joker face. So now I missed a step completely. 100% completely. Okay. Because I was going to put the uh, VIN number or the US dot number on here. <clears throat> so. You go in here, boom. Now this is a high res PNG. Okay. I already had it pre made. I was actually going to type it in. US dot. Shrink it down just a little bit. Here. Back to our copy paste. So now we have our US dot. I'm not going to put the VIN on here. Um, I'm going to do something totally different. All right, so now uh, painted grill. This is, this is your barred grill. This is your. So I want. Facebook decides uh, somebody calls me on Facebook. So now, California King Clean Idol sticker. Bring that up here. Shrink it. Now, I always go one line front one line this line right here is the where the hood you know would flip up so I go one line away from that we're gonna copy we're gonna paste it because we're gonna see that our truck is certified to idle in California a lot of your newer trucks are coming out with that 
Um, a lot of your older trucks have to go get certified. And the only way to get certified is to go into California. And you got to go to uh, the port of entry. If the port of entry isn't open, you just continue on until you can find a place, a location uh, to do the certification. Then you got to wait up to 10 weeks for that sticker to come into the mail. So for 10 weeks, you lose revenue because you can't go back out to California. All right, so what I was trying to do earlier was our little Peterbilt rebel flag that goes on the front. of the hood okay so that's that now if there's anything else you want to put on there totally up to you um, I put the FTA sticker there got the FTA sticker got the US dot number and that's just a fictitious US dot number by the way um, we got our bulldog facing forward. Got our Joker face on the front because it's called the Joker. Um, show you where you get my lettering. Cool text graphics. Um, all caps. This is where I got the Bulldog Gaming this on the back of one of my trucks. Bones, Postmaster, make it look like I had an LED board on the back of the truck. Pepsi lettering. You, know, you can you get all your lettering that you want to use. You can actually download these fonts too. Okay, joke wood. Yeah, looks okay. So now comic. Uh, and looks like a sticker. So we'll change the font. Okay, back to all caps. There we go. That looks better. Okay, so now I'm going to downside this to 45. We'll do 55. Boom. Download it. Let the circle go away. Minimize. Go here. Downloads. Drag and drop into the file that I'm doing all my modding out of. Boom. So now, a little bit of advice. If you're going to run with a headache rack, um, if you're going to run with the flat top, which cuts this whole line off, 
it cuts off where all this is okay so if you want to run with the flat top and you don't want to run with a headache rack you can actually bring that down to there okay you can actually put your wording down here so let's look over what we've got okay we've got the name of the company we've got our if the sticker we've got our US dot we have the bulldog um, let's copy and paste this another drag and drop drag it over we're gonna put this where it shows up on the grill okay and when I go in game I'll show you exactly where that is okay so now let's go back to here click that turns your paint your body paint color on go here boom that's your accent colors that were that you painted uh, your your fenders your bu your bumper your fuel tank your steps step toolboxes and your quarter and and your front fenders okay and then where we just placed the joker is going to be on the grill okay so and you can see our sticker here stickers that we need this is your fifth wheel we got our hut sticker because we're running into New York alright so now we're gonna have to stop we're gonna save this file it says ultra cab PND change this as a direct draw we're going to change this the joker okay desktop over here okay as you can see I have my three originals that are in here Okay, Bulldog Gaming Trucking, and this is just the file name. This is just what you're, you're naming the file. Save it. Okay, right here, this is where you need to pay attention. Now, originally I was doing DXT1, blah, blah, blah. All right, after learning, you want to do R8G888. That makes it an 8-bit graphic. Down here, you want to check if this is not checked. Generate MIT maps. You want to generate MIT maps. I'm going to give you a link in this description to another YouTuber that explains that one more. But this is how you get it in game to look just like that as I hit the microphone. Okay, so we hit OK, flatten, and now it is saved. So now we've closed, we can minimize this or we can close it I'm just gonna minimize it close that so now move that file up out of the way so this is everything that we were working with the uh, that we've already done so I want to move that to a new folder for now boom uh, PDG 53 custom okay I'm just gonna move all this over here because we don't need it right now done and I'm just gonna move that out of the way Okay, so now we're going to go where we dropped our skin in. Alright, PNG. I can actually delete the PNG. Gone. Done. Skin company, blah, blah, blah. That's something else that was in there. Okay, so.
done. Okay, so I use ETS2 Studio. There will be a link to how to get this also in the description. Okay. Open it up. When it wants to cooperate. All right. You're like, well, this is the this this is the European truck sim. Blah blah blah. Yes, it is. That's okay. All right. Skin properties. Default skin name. Joker. Because that is what we called it, correct? The Joker. Okay. This doesn't matter. This part right here does not matter. You can you can have it a certain length of name uh, up. It doesn't have to have any spare special characters in it. This is where you want to pay attention to. Skin internal name. <clears throat> so. This is a game specific read. So it doesn't conflict with any other paint schemes in, in the company, in, in the game. So. As you hear Witch laugh at me in the background as I stumbled over my words. So. BDT. Bulldog Transport. Or Bulldog Gaming Transport. Underscore. T TJ. The Joker. One, two, three. Okay. You want to change this to airbrush. Unlock at level one. Set your price. This is not a stock skin. Okay, so you have that. You have that. You have that. Okay, so now we need to go find. These are very important. Just how I did that. You want to make it unique. If you if you're creating multiple mul and more and more and more and more and more skins, like if you want to do a skin pack, uh, I'll show you more later on another tutorial. Or actually, yeah, I'll show you more later on how I did the tob tobj editor. That way, it reads it properly. But this is unique. This has to be unique per truck skin. So now we're going to browse. Computer's being slow. And it'll automatically bring you to documents. Go to my desktop. Find our folder that our skins are in, which I named it the skinning. Boom. I don't ever mess with that. Okay, so now your next step is Workshop Icon. If you want to use the default, I suggest using the default so you get used to it. I have my own. So now, ATS modding, ATS identifier, DDS. Okay. It has to fit in that size. And I'll, I'll explain that size here in a minute. Okay, so now we're done with all that. So now we want to go to export mod. <laughs> it's thinking. Okay, so now it's going to go into here, but that's not where you, I want to put it. Go here, ATS new units. Okay. The 
Joker. File name. Now, it already says SCS files. Change it to a zip. And the reason why you want to change it to a zip is because you want to be able to extract it, open it, and play with it. Because if not, you're not going to have it will not show up in ATS. Okay, so save it. Okay. Save successfully. All right, so now we can close out of that. We can close that. And ATS new units, ATS new units, the Joker. I use 7-zip. Even though it's a zip document, I can just extract all extract the files here in this folder. This part here. Oh, hold on. Rename. I'm just gonna copy that. And delete that. You can delete that now. Okay. So now your first rename. All right, so when you go in to the truck, as you know, we're working with a Viper 2, Peterbilt, uh, Peterbilt Viper 2, okay? So we have to put that Peterbilt dot 389 V2. V2 is Viper 2. That way it reads because of the coding for his truck, V2, Viper 2, okay? Double click, paint job. All right, right here, bdttj123.ssii. Okay, like I said, when you created that, that code right there, it is unique to this truck and this truck only. Now, I just double click on it while it thinks about it. There we go. Notepad, just open the notepad. I'm gonna drag this over here. Boom, all right. Now, right here between this dot and this dot, where it says daf dot a x, daf dot x f, highlight it. You wanna put it in, Peterbilt. Dot three eight nine V two. Okay, between there and there. Save it. Close it. ATS new units. Okay, down here you want to go. Compressed. Pe paste the Joker. Okay, because that's what we're using. We're it is the Joker. Copy those, drag it in, copy, dun, 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 dun. and if you don't think it did it, just double click on it. It's in there. So now I'm gonna cut it. Go into documents. American Truck Sim, mod folder, paste. Okay. So now, give me just a second here. And as soon as I am game, in, in that, as soon as I am in the game, I will come right back to you. Okay, we are in the game now. Go to your mod manager. I just double click, decrease because I use a code for money. I've told you this several times in my <laughs> other videos. 
confirm changes continue game which it'll take a moment or two to continue signing in da 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 Loading into the game itself. Get another drink of Mountain Dew. <clears throat> Actually, I shouldn't have said that, but oh well. I have actually seen the Golden Gate Bridge in person. Alright. So, there's my truck. Alright, so now you want to go to Vehicle Browser, Experiment with Various. Now it's going to pop right up the Viper 2. Okay, so we want to go to paint jobs. There's our skin. Okay, as you can see, just the base of our truck. We can actually change the cab. Go to the flat top. As you can see, that all that disappeared. So we're going to go back to the 72-inch Ultra. And if you want that, if you want the whatever you put back here to show up when you do that, remember come down into this part. Okay. So now, go to accessories. Find lower grill guard. Scroll down. American Eagle paint. Boom. There's our bumper. With the hut sticker on it. Tank. Boom. There's our tank with my bulldog on it. Find where it says front step. Okay. US dot, Bulldog Gaming Transport, our bulldog, our IFTA sticker, our California certification, our Joker face as you can see everything is there that we wanted so far all right front lights option five hey we didn't paint the corners of the lights this time so now we can actually go with those um Go with these. Now, when you turn on the lights on these, when you're running oversize, your paint color is on the inside. Okay. Now, everybody noticed that I have a Cummins sticker there, so I can actually go with a Cummins motor. Uh, if I wanted, I've got, you can locate the Caterpillar if you want to run a Caterpillar motor, which as you can see is under there. Huh. Just realized that stretched down just a little bit on there. But that's okay. Okay, so now C 
see grill painted as you can see it has the bars has the joker behind it if you just want black mesh mesh painted there you go see it says the joker on the front of it okay turn this around here our exhaust and uh, you want to find flat top paint boom there's your painted exhaust fender rear okay half fender paint double round your new fender tuning fender okay come back here rear lights This is see what I mean about the paint showing up back here. This is what I go with, or you can go with that. I go with that. Boom. Now you have your frame is purple. Base color. Deck plating. Boom. Stretch it back out. go there is your finished truck And if you go with, back to your frames, 8 by 4 long, go back into here, fender, heavy duty, triaxle, megalochrome.
looks like he's done some work on this in recent days. Light bar. Standard light bar painted. It's paint it the color of your truck. Frame. Custom paint. Boom. Everything matches your truck. Still hasn't fixed the lights yet. But that's okay. But as you can see there, oh. arrow kit on here. There you go. That is your in-game truck that you just created the skin on. Step by step on how to do the truck. The skin. And give me just a little bit, and when I'm back into paint.net, I will show you how to do the uh, trailer. All right, we're back into paint.net. We have a blank canvas right now. So, now we're going to go in here. We're going to open a file, and I apologize for that popping up. All right, so go back into our file that I've created. You can name your file whatever you want to, wherever you want to find and put your stuff in. I put mine in ATS modding. All right, so the CS53TR. Open that up. Go into vehicle, trailer owned, CTS box. Whoops upgrade come down here find paint job CTS box shows you every paint scheme that he has in game that he has on here so huh instead of doing a template I kind of messed myself up there all right so give me just a second here okay so let's try this again open Hold on. Go in the right file. Alright. So this is our trailer. You want to go into the vehicle. Trailer owned. Upgrade. Find paint job. There. As everything opens. Down here towards the bottom you will find template DDS. Just double click it and it opens up okay so like with the truck add a second layer grab your paint can find your color now I'm gonna make a matching a matching trailer for the Joker all right, wrong purple. There we go. Okay. Layers, add new layer. Turn off layer number two, which is our
base color. Okay. So, now this is where your magnifying tool comes into play. Okay. Bumper color, side skirts, cable box, door frame color, bumper frame, cooler tank and his mount color, chassis and spare tire color, wings, mud flap color, body frame color, toolbox color, all that. Okay. So what we're going to do first is... on a new layer go here all right so it's already color fill let's find our green that we're using and change this and I'll show you what each one of these are when we go back in the game. These are all accents. Everything that I'm coloring here is an accent on the trailer. Okay. All right. So, every accent on the trailer going to be our green so put that back that way you can see okay this is your front panel this is your rear doors this is your roll-up door top of the truck or top of the trailer right side of the trailer left side of the trailer so now comes pretty much the easy part Okay, so we want to go into ATS modding, or whatever you call it. Oh, before I do that, I am going to go File, Open, ATS modding. Okay, this is one that I created last night. And I'm going to grab my paintbrush or paint bucket. I'm just going to change that color. Um, nope. Change that color. Change that color our green save as again PNG opposite Joker just rename that save it's already set up auto detect because it's a PNG 
close that file open okay trailer stripes first color is our purple change that okay file save as trailer stripes joker okay that way you keep them all separated and close that okay so <clears throat> now go in here import we want to find the file that we're wanting to use okay joker opposite joker now we're going to drag this down If you can hear a game in the background, that's okay, because my wife is playing Slime Rancher. And it doesn't really matter how you place this, as long as it looks good to you. Okay, so now we'll go back in. Import. pretty close to the same okay and then we're gonna go in here because this is company logo that I'm using couple inches off the back This one we can file copy. And if you need a reference to what you're looking at, you always go back in. I'm going to go in here, here, vehicle, trailer owned, upgrade, paint job, there, and you can always look at one of his originals. And what I did to make reference to knowing exactly which side was which way it should face is I opened his Penske. Because if you've ever been around the big truck or been around the industry, Penske, the back of their trailer is where the Penske sign is. The arrows point towards the front. The arrow stripes point towards the front. It's one way to get a reference point. Now we've got that where we want it. Looks about even to the opposite side. Go back into here. here okay 
All right, so there's that. Um, if you want to put anything that's on the rear doors, this is your swing doors, this is your roll-up doors, so if you want to put anything on that. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. Kind of shrink that down a little bit before we even replace it. I'm going to put this on the back of my door, on my roll-up door. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to come up a little bit. Like so. Kind of shrink him down a little bit. with me right now. And we'll make him look into the left. A uh, trailer that I did last night for the in-game SCS trailers, I made him look into the right. So <coughs> It's all in your preference. All right. Again, this is where you're Magnifying tool is going to come into play. Center your thing. Import. Woo! This is something that I made last night on my own. Based off of these. Kind of shrink it down a little bit before we get it placed in. Line it up with that edge. Line it up with the edge as much as possible. Looks about even in between there. Go back in here. Find my little placard I'm looking for. Whoops. And if you ever make a mess up like that, just hit the back button, undo. Alright, now we're in compliance with DOT on our roll up door. California DOT. They require that little sign right there to be on your trailer at all times. Okay, so now, what do we want to put on the rear door? Alright, so now, we'll go here. I'm going to go here. Go here. I'm going to drag that down. And boom. Okay, so click out. Grab our template, drag it down, click out one more time. Center and grab it. 
All right, so this is everything that is on our trailer. This is going to be on our trailer in game. So go down here and like like with your truck, you want to turn that on. Okay. So now save as a DDS and. Let's name this CS3. Okay? Because you don't have to keep all of his all of his skins in this trailer skin that he does. So I named it CS3. CS3. Okay. Save. It's gonna say, oh that that blah 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 already exists. Hit yes. Okay, 100%. Boom. Flatten. Okay. So, that's how you save it to that trailer. Now, I'm going to save this again as a DDS. Come over here. I'm going to go here. I'm going to find that same file. Because we already know that from a little bit ago when I went in here, I didn't have the template. Okay. Because template is the one that I did last night. So, we're going to keep it the same name. CS3 DDS. And save it. Already exist. Hit yes. Boom. That simple. Okay, so now we're going to minimize. Okay. Close this. We're going to go into our ATS modding folder. We're going to find our CS53 trailer. Okay, now in here, we're going to make a new folder, a compression zip, and we are going to call it C5, no, CS53TR, capitalized, 53 TR because it's capitalized up there. You want to make sure that it's capitalized on your zip. Okay. So now, control, click, 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 click. Hold the control button. I use my left control. It'll compress the file. <clears throat> and like I said, since my original skin was already in there I just went back with my original file I'm recompressing it oh. there it is. It's done compressing it. So now we're going to cut it. Click on it. Cut it. Documents. American Truck Sim mod. Paste. It's going to say, do you want to replace this file? Yes, I do. I'm going to close that. And then I'll be right back with you as soon as we are in game. All right. And we are in game. Now, as you see, it did not pop up new uh, new mods found, so we can go in, continue game. Should have went all the way into the game, but that's okay. <coughs> there we go.
Okay, so just like before, instead of hitting with the truck, you want to go in, you want to hit, you want to find your trailer. Here's an easier way. That didn't work. Could not find it. So. Fifty three foot customized. Go in here, customize it. All right. So. Don't have to mess with anything like this. Go in here. I'm going to go with a reefer. Paint. Fifty three foot. Spread paint. So now we need to find CS3. Our skin on it. it. Says it's color changeable, but we don't. That's okay. Yeah, should have took a. At Christmas. That's okay. So now, trailer front, painted wall, paint. That really changes everything quite a bit.
add our markers. Change that. Chrome paint. Bumper, custom paint job, or mud flaps, that or that. Put add lights to it. And there you go. And there it is. I'll change this over to for personal use. This was for the tutorial. For personal use, I'll change it over to t t uh, template 2 DDS. Or change it up to the Christmas one. <laughs> I think I'll do that. I'll change it to the Christmas one. That way it's not color changeable. Because you go here, you go to Christmas. It's not color changeable. Merry Christmas. In fact, this is a new one that he just added in. I don't know. I don't. What company is on here that I don't like? We'll do Canada. We'll change that Canada. Not that I don't like Canada. I like Canada. I just don't. I just don't want it on any of my paint. So, don't get me wrong. I'll keep Christmas because it is Christmas season. So, in fact, I'm gonna buy that trip. We'll run around with a Christmas trailer. And we'll put it in our garage in Salina, Kansas. Alright. So you witnessed me spend some money in my game too. Alright. I thank you all for stopping by. I know this is a pretty lengthy video. Um, but it's front to back, top to bottom on how I got my paint skins, my paint jobs, my skins into the game. Um, I hope this helps as anybody that do, wants to do this um, again like I said in the beginning um, <clears throat> go look up my buddy uh, uh, Ricky Clay really cool guy um, go give him some love and when you go give him some love tell him I sent you by um, I want to thank each and every single one of you guys uh, for sticking with me I know it's a slow process trying to get you know between life work and everything I just want to thank y'all uh, so Without further ado, I'll bid you uh, farewell for the day, and we'll holler at y'all later.